veteran <laughs> lawmaker, um, what, how unique is what uh, Fitzgerald's proposing here? Uh, he has many proposals, so which one would you be referring to? Well, just to? the idea of, um, of uh, going the route of citizen-initiated legislation, oh, okay. then... Initi There's not a whole statute. lot new under the sun, so I don't think this is either. Right, but in, in terms of how, how often this happens? And more and more as the, uh, you know, representative process has been somewhat eroded by, uh, you know, the practice that is available to us in the Constitution. And uh, so, um, yes, there, we have a multifaceted system of checks and balances in our state. And uh, the... Uh, uh, the opportunity to go to referendum or to initiative is one is is a part of that process. Mm -hmm. so. would, do you think uh, that he would ultimately succeed? And in, in that would be pure speculation because there are so many factors that uh, haven't even started to click in yet. Mm -hmm. uh, because right now it's just talk, and, and the purpose he's he's trying to draw attention away from the fact that we have a very successful uh, budget uh, set. Up a set of provisions that uh, developed here in ways that will make our state stronger and will be helpful to our state uh, uh, disproportionately to if we had not passed this budget. And he's trying to draw attention away from that. It's very simple. Was the last successful citizen initiative of this sort the smoking ban? Is that the last so. one? No, actually that was a statute. Okay. Uh, I think probably, I'm not sure. I'm thinking the last one was actually the uh, provision that passed widely uh, having to do with uh, a marriage between a man and a wife. Was that the last one? No, about three last initiative. Now he's talking a referendum. Let's no, talk. He's, that would be Senate Bill 5. He's, he, he's actually talking about an initiated statute. Oh, is he? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that actually might be his only real option here. That has to come to the legislature. Right. Yeah. So that creates a whole dynamic that uh, I think probably is helpful because then you get representative process. If you look at the incidents of... Uh, passage for uh, initiated, uh, whether it's an initiative, there's an initiative process that involves a constitutional amendment that goes to the legislature, but there's another, the, you have to go to the legislature on an initiative statute. And the smoking probably is a good example of that. There they came, they, the supporters came to us and said, look here, we, we know this has to come to you, but we just appreciate it if you would let it go as is without any changes because we want to go on through to the ballot, and that's what happened, and it passed. Maybe not the best law, but it, that's what happened. Uh, I would suggest that if, if Mr. Fitzgerald brings this to, which is questionable, I doubt that he will. But if he does, uh, after, he has other goals. But let's just say it comes to the legislature. You know, it'll, it'll have a, a unique process uh, that will probably not parallel uh, particularly what happened with the smoking ban, I would, I would think. But then it's early to say, and I, I don't think it, I think he's looking for attention and looking for, uh, you know, laying track for what he's trying to do, and that's fair. Um, but it doesn't necessarily make the state stronger, or it's not good for the state uh, to have, uh, well, but then again, we need to have, you know, I think discussions that are multifaceted, so I wouldn't be too critical.